Okay. <laughs> We're all set. So let's have this wonderful aria. This year, Samling Academy couldn't be done in the way that it usually is. So they had to find a way of getting six intensive days of workshops and masterclasses all online. There was a total of 25 singers, 12 leaders, 14 full group sessions, and 343 masterclasses. So yeah, there has been a lot going on and we've been kept busy and it's all been so much fun. One of the difficulties of performing online is the time delay. So if you're not in the same room as the pianist, it's impossible to perform live together. To help us get around this problem, an amazing team of sampling artists, pianists recorded the accompaniment to all our repertoire, 120 pieces in total, so that we could perform to the backing tracks. It was also really useful having the recordings because it meant that we could prepare for the masterclasses with the accompaniment that we'd be using. We were so lucky to have Joan Rogers teaching on the Academy this year. It was actually the first year that Joan was teaching on the Academy and we were really excited to have her. Look, just going back to the text, the deeps have music soft and low. And I think you're not exploiting the text enough at all. It's, it's magical. And it's like, tell us, let us into the secret. The deeps have music. Did you know that? The deeps have music soft and low. So just bring us into that world a bit more. Yeah, it's not a solemn prayer. The deeps have music soft and low. You can still get lots of consonant in there. And not um, and and not compromise the the length of the vowel. Yeah, you can have both. Think about what we were doing in our Italian with Emma, and how beautifully everything is a long vowel, but her consonants are still very clear. Yeah, yeah. have another go just from there. The deeps have music soft and low. I think that's nice. I think um, the more confident you get with it, the more you'll play with that. Yeah. Let's go on. It lures me. It lures me, lures me on to go and see the land where corals lie. Beautiful. It felt better because the ah was more open, so it didn't really... See, it slows vowels again, isn't it? It's those vowels, you know, we just have to find a way to exploit them more. It makes singing so much easier. Everyone had to work through technical challenges and figure out how best to set up their recording equipment. I had this mic which just made the sound clearer when I was singing. I also had these board game boxes which I stacked on top of each other so that I could be seen during my masterclasses when I was standing up. Looks like it's doing it. Let's see how we go. Recording at home can sometimes be quite difficult because it can be noisy and there can be distractions or whatever. I certainly had a moment or two where the recording didn't go very smoothly. But the great thing is you can just do it again. You know, how barren a, a tone can you make? Okay, I'm very sorry, my cat's just come in. I'll just move. I'll feed us in, cat, sir. I'm definitely not the most technical person. This is kind of my first online course that I've ever done. So I was pretty apprehensive to see how it was all gonna work out with Samling this year. But everything was so wonderfully organized and I never felt like I didn't know where I was supposed to be or what I was supposed to be doing or at what time. 
So yeah, it was all put together extremely well. We would work on our chosen repertoire in small group masterclasses with the leaders, where we would develop vocal technique, musical interpretation, characterization, and presentation of text. I sang that song on Sunday to which an Okay, we're just going to take that first phrase again. Well done. Super. So you really released before that, which is brilliant. Well done. So we're going to go, I sang that song. And song is a lovely, another lovely, long released space. So ong. Can you just say in a silly way, like you're like you're sort of spelling it out to me. I sang that song on Sunday. Really give me the song when you get there. Try it again. I sang that song on Sunday. Okay, I'm going to stop you because I thought that was really good. Now say to me in Hannah words, I've got to go, but where? Whatever words you would use. I have to go, but I don't know where. Good. Uh, how could you up the jeopardy of the having to go, Hannah? I have to go. But I don't know where. Wonderful. Can you keep that life when you sing it? Fantastic. So is the odd day a result of what you just said, or do you think it's going forward? There are either options, but what does it feel like for you? It's going forward because it's a plea to God to kind of tell her where to go. So I think it's keeping on going in that. Great. So what's happening between while I go, after my dove, what's happening in your thought processes before or day? Um, trying, almost trying to work it out for myself, realizing I can't, and then being, Oh God, help! I love it. Can I see all that? Can I see all that while I play? <laughs> Very lovely start. It's got way more uh, front on it now because you're changing colours. Excellent. Thanks. I want to really figure out what you uh, what you want to change in your world, what your intention is, by singing these words. Do you have Do you already have kind of a a real um, intention there? What do you want to change? Do you know, or should we do we need to work on finding that a bit more? Um, can we work on that and find it a bit more, please? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Of course, of course. Megan, read us quickly, the, the, not quickly, just read us the text. And the river with the oceans, the winds of heaven mix forever with a sweet emotion. Nothing in the world is single, all things by a law divine, in one another being mingle, why not I with thine, not I with thine. Aha! Okay, I get much more of an idea of, of, of why you're saying this text. Interesting. Go on, go on. See, the mountains kiss high heaven, and the waves clasp one another. No sister flower would be forgiven if it disdained its brother. And the sunlight clasps the earth, and the moonbeams kiss the sea. What are all these kissings worth if thou, if thou kiss not me? Ha-ha! Can we do it in context? Should we go back to Dear Lensist for Uber? Yeah. Uh, I really, really liked what you did with for Uber. Okay, thank you. It still seems a bit loud. I'm going to blame my headphones. Okay. Um, but, you know, barely, you can barely, barely say this to us, I think. Uh, okay, yeah. Just give us a breath before you start that is full of this barren landscape that you're seeing around us. You know, breathe in where you find yourself 
and then let it come out. So just just allow the breath to mean something as well. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Once, one last time. Good. Uh, how did you feel doing that? That felt so much better. And now you've accessed those colours to keep building on them, keep exploring how much further you can take that. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. We also had group sessions in poetry, stagecraft and dance. Mandy Dimitro used dance to get us thinking about different internal and external energy levels and how we could utilise these different energy levels whether we are performing live or to a screen. This was really helpful since most of us had never performed to a camera before. Connection with direction, with size of gesture, using the space, making all those things work together in one. I've just put them on a dance form. You could apply them to a piece of text. You can apply them to a, a song or an aria that you're singing. You can apply it just to the way you move onto the stage, onto the platform, come into the space. So you can play with that. Shall I compare the two a song? The poetry session with Jimmy was also incredible. It was so interesting to learn more about iambic pentameter, where the stresses come in a line of text, the meaning behind it, um, and making it relatable to you, which I found really helpful. And then incorporating all of those things. Well, here's the thing. English, so this is, we're going to get into technical verse talk, but ostensibly when we speak English, we speak in iambic rhythms anyway. I'm exaggerating the iambic yeah. rhythm now as I speak to you here. And as we explain things to children, we tend to do it anyway. Do you see what I mean? So the rhythms, of, I'm now still speaking iambically, I'm just not stressing it, I'm not hammering it out. So when I learn it, I'll hammer it out. But hopefully, and I, if I say to be or not to be, that is the question whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing end them to die, to sleep. I've done that all perfectly iambically. But I don't think I was hammering it out as I did it. Now, why do it? Because it's actually easier to understand. It's easier to follow if you do it in the rhythm. It's easier if you defer to the rhythm that the poet wrote it in. Yeah. Just like you deferring to the the notes on your score you can you know what I mean and the rests where the rests are and all the rest of it if you, you can choose not to do that but you'll make a mess of it there was definitely a lot to think about but when he broke it all down it was much easier to understand and then it was really cool to see it all come together singing in foreign languages was also a big part of the course and this year we had Emma Abate working with us on Italian so we worked on uh, a recit from the marriage of Figaro and Emma took us through line by line uh, and really worked on like the fine, uh, fine tuning our pronunciation. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. Wow, and, and how did that work online? Like, was that okay? Yeah, it was okay. I think we missed all being, we missed the energy of all being in the same room, but it was actually really helpful because we could see uh, Emma's pronunciation up close. E cosa deve farme coil con te? Stop. Very good. That's all I want you to do. That's right. You could do it. You were panicking, but you could do it. <laughs> That's good. So you see now, because you 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 uh, spoke in strict rhythm, the language the language was correct. It's such a great way of bringing people together who are so passionate about the same thing and giving them an opportunity to learn from professionals from the industry. Um, especially at a time in our current climate where coming together in person isn't possible. So thank you so much to everyone at Samling who've put so much work into making this year's experience as good as any other year.